The Tricks have realized that the power of the dragon's flame is not inside Stella's ring. The Winks, however, have recaptured the ring after a difficult mission to Cloud Tower and with the help of a mysterious voice that speaks to Bloom. Back at Althea, Faragonda punishes them harshly, taking away their powers. Your intrusion into Cloud Tower Castle was extremely rude, young ladies. You exposed yourselves to great danger. That's the reason why your powers have been revoked. It is sufficient punishment. For me, however, sufficient is not enough. Now, just so you remember this lesson, you will spend the entire day at school, and you will clean the castle from top to bottom. Um, the whole castle? No, just the stairs, corridors, classrooms, and bathrooms. Oh, well, then that's okay. I thought it would be worse, honestly. <laughs> and since you do not have access to your magic power for the moment, these are your work tools. Uh, what a strange object. Let's see what my computer says about it. Oh, and one more thing. No techno gadget allowed. Now that worries me. Yeah, it shows. The sad news has obviously upset you. Well, by techno standards, she's actually shown too much emotion. I know. Ever since I met you guys, I easily lose control. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a joke, but a simple observation. Young ladies! Shh, quiet. Tomorrow, I'll conduct an inspection. Everything better be clean. Now go! It's not hard to use a broom. Want me to show you how? Nah, I'm sure I can figure out how to use these primitive implements. Are you sure? Of course. Are you really, really sure you don't want any help? I can handle the situation, Flora. Don't worry. See? Indeed, I see. Mm, I think I might have done something wrong. Now, would you like me to help you? Oh, I can't wait to be finished. Yeah. We'd be done a lot sooner if you know who had helped us. We agreed that you were going to clean the floors. No, you two agreed. Hey, you want me to break a nail? You don't have to use your hands. Use a scrub brush. I'm going to get blisters. Wear gloves. Ugh, rubber is bad for my skin. All right. You two leave me no other choice. It's not fair. You shouldn't do Stella's work. Well, if it means so much to you, I won't stop you. Hey! Oh! Oh! What were you saying, Stella? Good one, Bloom. <laughs> oh, well, I've got some for you, too. <laughs> <gasps> what happened here? A tornado? A tough battle's just ended, and I won by a landslide. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> I won. What a wreck. We'll never finish this part. I dare say <gasps> not. 
I'm here to let you know that this evening at the Magic's Auditorium, there will be a concert which the whole of Althea will attend. Great! I love concerts! However, you five will have to miss it. You haven't finished cleaning oh, no. yet! Now get back to work! Well, they've all gone. I always feel sad when the school is empty. Hey, what do you say we ask the boys to join us? Yeah, why not? Then when we get caught, we'll be grounded to infinity. I think it's a great idea. Uh, sure. They could help us with the cleaning. But it's like cheating, isn't it? Mm-mm. Griselda said no magic, no techno gadget. Did not say no flesh and blood. Of course. And then when we're done cleaning, we can have a nice party. It's a wonderful idea. I can't wait. Yay! You guys sure didn't waste any time. It's great to see you. Hey, you know us. When it comes to partying, the specialists take matters very seriously. <laughs> The Winks are gonna have to pay for their intrusion into Cloud Tower. Hmm. We'll destroy their beloved Althea. That ought to teach them a lesson. <gasps> Those fairies have gotta learn to stay well away from our turf. Why do you hate them so much? Fairies aren't that bad after all. And who is the pert little thing who just uttered these words? All I meant to say was, I think that maybe we should all try to get along. But of course! <laughs> <laughs> Did you girls hear that? Murda wants to be friends with the fairies. Well, well, how quaint. Would you like a sprinkle of fairy dust in your soup? <laughs> Why don't you keep your mouth shut, girl? <gasps> <laughs> all right, that's enough. What is all this mess? Can't you think of other ways to amuse yourselves? Now everybody finish your meal and go to your rooms. There will be no entertainment period this evening. Let's do it tonight while the fairies and their teachers are all attending the concert. It's not hard. Just do it like this. Soap down, rinse, and dry. And then, whoo! Uh, wasn't this supposed to be a party? It will start as soon as we're finished cleaning. Here, <clears throat> heads up. <sighs> 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 work better with some music on. And all together now, soap, rinse, dry. Soap, rinse, dry. Soap, rinse, dry. <laughs> Feel the rhythm, work to the beat. So rinse dry. Yeah. <laughs> Well, huh? Hey, you betcha. And what's more, I discovered that Prince Sky is a perfect man about the house. So what's the deal with you and Brandon? Oh, uh, no deal. Nothing really. Liar! <laughs> Whenever he's near you, you become someone else. This is the perfect time to try and get closer. Hey. 
Didn't you say the school was supposed to be empty? Huh? Huh? The Winx. Don't you want to dance, Tecna? No, I don't like to. It makes me feel kind of awkward. Well, that makes two of us. I don't like it either. I feel ridiculous. Timmy, huh? you're ridiculous even when you're not doing anything. Ugh. Hmm. She's not bad, huh? Better than some others here. Oof, that was close. That's all we needed. Too many people. Let's go back to Cloud Tower. No, sisters, I have this feeling. Let's conjure up the vacuums. The vacuums? But why? They're made to find and store the most powerful mystical energies. I feel that the energy we're looking for is somewhere in the school. Hidden in something, perhaps. Of course. It wasn't in the Ring of Solaria. It had to belong to one of the fairies, In though. fact, the royal family belonged to the Order of Fairies. Great idea, I see. My ideas are always great. idea that'll put them out of commission. <laughs> this is the place. All right, sisters, are you ready? Elevat onum inibat, ekat serenum inyari sabat, afia devastat, ilamine epientum. Sisters, I present to you the whip. It's too bad this party can't go on forever. Maybe not forever, but I was hoping it would go on at least until morning. I guess, as long as we keep the place tidy. Um, is that your stomach grumbling? You want to eat something? No, but I'm kind of oh. thirsty. Your Highness, are you nervous? Uh, I'm perfectly calm. It's oh. the school that's shaking. An earthquake? It's coming from inside. No, it's from outside. Maybe one of our classmates left the TV on too loud. See, it stopped. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> what kind of creature could do this kind of damage? A big, heavy creature. Oh, golly, I never would have guessed. It's two and a half meters tall and weighs close to a ton. Its fur is bristly, it has horns and multiple clawed limbs. It also has a musky odor. Now, is that better? <laughs> Way to go, Tech. Woo! Okay, that was it. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Wait for us. We're coming, too. Come on. Stay where you are, little fairies. This isn't a job for you. Hmm. Says who? The vacuum's headed this way. It stopped. Quack. <gasps> Who said quack? Mama, quack he followed quack. us all the way here. Quack. 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 All right, let's go. Why don't you give us some light, Timmy? Sure thing. It went up that way. Nothing, huh? Maybe it went away. Maybe it was just a wild animal, you know? Or one of Prof Whiskey's crazy creations. I'd say it's a dirty laundry hamper creature. Let's try this way. Huh? Hang on a sec. There never used to be a wall in this corridor. Stella, 
Uh, we have no power. <laughs> nice monster. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Look at him, he's struggling and sweating. He really stinks. This should help a little. <laughs> Great, Stella. You made him even more angry. <laughs> That's it, you beast. You asked for it. <sighs> Girls, you can sit back and relax. <sighs> we'll put him through the ringer. <laughs> now, this is my kind of party. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's take them on together. Just worry about your prince, page boy. Idiot. Uh, Come on, guys, attack! Specialists, attack! This is my attack! Huh? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, Interesting. This boy has a very strong negative force. He's on a level with the Prince of Darkness. What do you think? I think he's just an average Joe idiot who's wasting our time. I think that boy could be useful, <laughs> but not yet. We'll think about it a little later. We've got to do something. The monster's beating them to a pulp. We don't have anything to fight with. Look what I found. Hey, this gives me an idea. <laughs> Almost had him. What I'd like to know is where could a thing like that come from? <laughs> That's Pepe, <gasps> Icy's duck. He couldn't possibly have gotten here by himself. Mommy. <sighs> I'd say this is a special gift from the Tricks of Us company. Let's go to Faragonda's office. I know that with her crystal ball, she can keep watch over pretty much the whole school. But that wouldn't be right. We can't go into Faragonda's office if she isn't in there. That's true. It's strictly against the rules. Yes, but for our own good and that of Althea, we must solve this mystery. Here we are. This is the moment of truth. There's someone in here. Oh, I knew it! What should we do? Let's hide. This is odd. The vacuum clearly indicates that the power of the dragon is hidden in this room, but I don't see anything. I guess we'll just have to trash the place and search every nook and cranny until we find what we want. We won't let you! <sighs> huh. What are you doing here? No, what are you three doing here? That's what I was going to ask you oh. all. Up until a moment ago, I thought this was my office. You might not believe us, but we can explain. <sighs> well, thanks for everything, Brandon. It was an evening I won't soon forget. Come here. <gasps> a memorable party. 
Yeah, and uh, next time you have a party, don't bother to invite me, all right? <gasps> oh, and Griselda, remind me to send Director Salad in a letter of thanks for the help his students gave us. And as for you three yeah. young witches in training, I will immediately take the matter up with Director Griffin. Your behavior here this evening is totally unacceptable. Tomorrow morning, she will receive from me a formal complaint. I have never seen such total lack of respect. I trust you will be disciplined accordingly. Goodbye, girls. And now, uh. it's your turn. Now, I've looked at the situation as a whole, and so I will not reprimand you. <gasps> This evening's events have shown that you can handle difficult situations intelligently, creatively, and without magic. And so, I'll give you back your powers. Your punishment has lasted long enough. <gasps> Dear sweet girls, you still have a long road ahead of you and many obstacles to overcome. But one day, you will be true fairies. Tomorrow, the roses will bloom. Who knows? One day, you might also blossom. In the next episode, there is a lot of activity in magics for the Festival of the Rose. But at last, it is time for a break at home. Musa will stay at Alfia with just her memories. Bloom and Stella will participate in a motorcycle race with the boys from Red Fountain. But the tricks are waiting for the chance to take advantage of the situation.